once you find that your purpose is outside of you, mm-hmm. it it influences how you lead. Who God has called me to be, I'm still me at the end of the day. Some people want titles. Most people want titles. Mm-hmm. It sounds good to be an entrepreneur. It sounds good to be a business owner. It sounds good to be a uh, black C- owned or CEO. CEO. Come on, it sounds good to lead. However, once you're in that position, you are now responsible. Healing has allowed me to pour myself into her promise circle genuinely. Mm-hmm. And because of that, I draw people in who want someone they can relate to. Hey guys, welcome back to the Accountability On Demand podcast with the Healing While Building segment. It's your host, Lashana West, and I'm super excited to have a special guest here. Introduce yourself for the people. Hey y'all, I am Mikkel Carlock. I am the founder and CEO of Her Promise Circle. We are a women's wellness community that is faith-based. We create a safe space for women to come and be able to accomplish their personal and professional goals, as well as stay healthy mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Ooh, I love all of that. And I'll, tell you, you, I'll tell you why. And it's Mikkel, right? Yes. Girl, I be wanting to say all kind of <laughs> stuff. Okay. When you pronounce, I was like, oh, that's how okay, you yeah. say it. <laughs> Everyone just calls I me Mickey. It. It's like, Mickey? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let me tell you what I love about your platform. You didn't just say, oh, this is self-love. You didn't just say this is wellness. It's literally comprehensive. Yeah. And you guys know I'm a business therapist and mindset coach, so my antlers go up when I hear and, and, and spiritual, emotionally, mental. That's so, so key. So tell me, what made you create your entity? <sighs> okay, where to start? <laughs> um, well, first of all, I'm a PK. I got to start from the beginning. So I'm a PK, you know, uh, my grandmother was a pastor. My mom was ready to be all day. Might as well have been a pastor as well. Okay. And so I was raised, um, you know, Christian in the church every every Sunday, um, pretty mm-hmm. much a Christian background. And when I was about 18, about to graduate high mm-hmm. school, um, my grandmother got diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Okay. Um, and I was like, Every, why is everyone sad? Like, the Lord is going to heal her. So, yes. like, everything's fine. Like, so you everybody were, can... So, you were optimistic... I just... Early on. I was... I mean, I, I didn't know... That. Nothing had ever happened to me traumatic. Mm-hmm. So, like, I'm just like, well, every time we pray, it hap- it works. Yeah. Prayer works. Prayer yeah. changes things. Yes, and it so does. And so, I went away to college, girl. I was living my best life. And then I get a call, and she passed. Okay. And Sorry so, I, I didn't prepare. I wasn't preparing. Because I was ready for God to do his thing, yeah. come in and be a superhero and heal her. Who, but who does prepare for... I was... Nobody prepares, uh, right? How I was, was that for you? completely unprepared because mm-hmm. I was like, he's going to heal her. That was your... You was a one-track mind. Everything's good. Y'all need to stop tripping. We gonna be good. Period. Yes. And so, from then on, me and God had beef. <laughs> for years okay because i was like so what's up because i would have went home more Ooh. you feel me like i would have went home spent more time with her yeah i would have like prepared this is what i mean by preparing like i wasn't prepared so i wasn't spending time i wasn't like oh you know let's get together and spend our alone time have some mm-hmm. time i would have did all, all things. the things that we should be doing that we take for granted and it's so funny and i don't want to cut you off no but, but when you said me and god had beef I envi- I envision you. I I hear a book. <laughs> Trust me, me and God <laughs> had beef, or or I got beef with God. I'm telling y'all that right there, sis. Thank me later. I'm I, telling I you. Will. At least a blog. <laughs> we need some content about yeah. how you and God had beef. And we know it was temporary. Yeah. That was in the past because we, we we might have beef now. with God, but God trumps everything. <laughs> but anyway, go ahead. Girl. Every time, every time. So um. Years. I'm talking years. I'm talking beyond a decade. I'm 32 now. This is when I was 19. You're 32? Um, I am 32. Thank you. I'll take it. (laughs) I'm 32 now. And so when I was 
28, life caught up to me. How mm-hmm. I was living absent of him caught up to me to a point where Ooh. it was like, if you don't step in, I'm ready to go. I'm out. What you mean by that? Um, So th- the trumping thing that happened was an awful breakup. Because for the longest time, as women, what we do, this is what my book's about, is we we look for God in people. Ooh. Um, and so I... That's good right there. I looked for him in men for a long time. I just got chills. In my relationships. They were God to me. And so I often tell my girls, like, we, we have a relationship idol. And so this is what my book's about. Shameless plug. What's the name of the uh, book, baby? <laughs> Get ready for love. We're going to look right here in the camera. <laughs> Get ready for love. Um, it's uh, preparing godly women f- in preparation for marriage. So it's healing your heart, your mind, and getting God first. Because we have money first, business first, people first, relationships first, sex first, whatever it is. Um, and not God. So we use God as a toolkit, but not f- Lord of our lives. And I would say we use him reactively instead of proactively. We use him when things are going Bottom wrong. Bottom of the barrel. <laughs> Father God, please help me. I promise. What about proactively and stop being selfish and using God oh. only when you need him, but using him Come on. infusing everything that we do? That I had to learn that. Come child, on now. Because that's where he met me. Because in the word it says he chooses us and then we and then he chose us first. So I felt that in that moment, um, the tug back Mm -hmm. very hard, harder than I ever had felt it. Because, you know, it was beef. It was constant beef. He was never gone. I never stopped believing. Right. I just was upset with him. You just had a problem. I had a problem with him. And so I had to learn to trust him again. (laughs) I had to learn to trust him again. Because I was like, what's up? Like, (laughs) what what are we really doing, God? Right. And so after that awful breakup, um, you know, there is always pain in your purpose. So I've got yes. tons of lessons just from that one moment in my life. Mm-hmm. But so from then on, it was just me and God rebuilding a relationship. Because I grew up in the church. Most of us do. But you don't really meet God. You don't really experience God until you need him. Like you just said, reactively. Yep. Until yep. you need him and he brings you out. The mm-hmm. problem is most of us, once he pulls us out, we go back to our own way. But this time I was stuck. I was tired of playing with him. And so I'm here now. Um progressively I started a women's Bible study okay. and it was like me and like three friends that I knew that knew God because let's be real I, I didn't really lot. have a template like I didn't right, have a right, template right. for choosing friends or relationships it was yeah. just he's fine and she's goes out with me on Saturdays like it was no, just, that, that's you fact. know what I'm saying that's like it, it was really no I didn't know so the three friends I knew that kind of knew God I was like all right like we're gonna do a Bible study like once a week yeah they're like okay <laughs> so just, what, like, now let me ask you this <laughs> let me ask you this Nikki. yes yes what made you pull people in instead of doing it solo dolo? Um, I really was just looking for community that understood me. Okay. I wasn't looking to be on a platform because at that point I knew how far gone I had been and I just needed support. So so hold up, time out, because this is the Healing while Building and I want us to be brutally honest. When you say how far gone I've been... Was it drug, sex, and rock and roll? And you ain't got to give details. Oh, I can give you, I can be detailed. But let, let's keep it a buck. Um, you glazing over it real quick. And, <laughs> like I, so, and I ain't trying to do therapy, but like, how far God it, was you, family? So, so God was definitely not first in my life. Like I said, men were first. And so um, I had plans, all plans to wait till I was married to have sex. Yeah. Didn't. Obviously, I didn't even think about it. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. And so, I mean, obviously, I was I was doing all the comforts um, where God usually feels we be comforted. So I drank every day. I kind of passed it off as like I just like to drink alcohol. But I realized like once I was being self-aware, like you drink a lot. Okay. You drink. So it wasn't socially. It was emotionally. Yes. Okay. It was was a difference. I was numbing. Gotcha. Um, even if it's like a Netflix, per, a person that doesn't drink or have sex and you watch Netflix like all day long, all day, like that's numbing. And that's a problem that's because a you can't sit alone with yourself or with God and, and confront the things that you are dealing with. So good. Wait, time out. Yeah. Are you making, I'm looking here in the camera <laughs> and even though I'm talking to you. Yes. Are you making content about these things we're talking about? Because as a business therapist, a mindset coach. I, in my mind, I'm like, as soon as I get off of here, I'm going to be talking about X, Y, Z. Yeah. But my question to you is, Mickey, do you talk about this stuff? Because I'm telling you, dog, <laughs> if you're not, you better. And if you are, go deeper. Yes. 
Um, What's your answer? So for Bible study every week, I actually create full study guides. So this actually continues the story I was telling. So when I started the Bible study, I just was like, all right, I need to start like having everyone on the same page. Mm-hmm. So I started making study guides. And then I was like, I need a place to put this. So then it became a website. And then they were telling people. And then I was like, oh, there's more people. Okay, here's a website. Okay, maybe we should be members. Okay, and then it just became... Then it came the community. Because God knew if he was going to be like, I'm going to have you start a business, I would have been like, yeah, I'm good. Um, mm, so he, he started can... with Bible study. <laughs> like community. It, so I love this. Yes. It, it started with a problem. And then after you engaged and having fun you say you know what let's bring it back we'll do bible study but we need tools and organization to the bible study here go study guides i need somewhere to put them website people started tapping in community but it was not planned it was not perfect it was organic and that's why i love this conversation is because a lot of people want to know the end result yeah they want to know how it's going to happen when it's going to happen sometimes you just gotta say yes and flow yes and by you saying yes and flow what what has it afforded you um well god meets you where you are so he knew what mickey would hear Mm -hmm. and he knew he could lead me from that place yes and i feel like that's where he started Mm -hmm. um he he just like the creation story like whenever you read the bible it's like it tells you god's character so in the beginning you know it was a void but he filled it Mm -hmm. so when there's a void when there's a problem god speaks to the answer or provides it yes so um the content that i provide now is to my community but we also provide content on our social media um on my tiktok um i'll do the short clips but i also if you are engrossed in this and need more i do mentoring and faith-based life coaching as well so (laughs) getting the content out there i need to do more of what you're saying i know that um but i definitely post it where i can but the girls get it mainly on thursdays because i put a lot into my um bible studies they're about two hours and then at the end we do an open discussion um do you have to be in the community and i know i'm saying community but Mm -mm. so when I say community, what community am I referring to? Let's talk about that. HPC, Her Promise Circle, is what it's called. Okay. Yes. But you can tap into Bible study without being in a community, yep. and how would they do that? So if you go to herpromisecircle.com, it'll say either become a member, and then you'll see, like, our services. But right above it, you'll see the links. So there's Bible study, a home tab. We have an outreach team. Nice. We have a whole bunch of stuff now. Um, but Yay! you'll see Bible study right at the top. Click that, and the link is always there, and I include the study guide on that same page and is it a different study guide for every week for every lesson so i I spend it's a lot to do every week i used to do it that way but now i know i'm just curious oh yeah no i don't need nothing (laughs) i'll shoot out one gonna take me a month anyway yes ma'am i I started doing workbooks um so so now you download the workbook and you work through it with me got you so let's talk about the word bible study let's do it okay because back in the day bible study Stuffy Wednesday. <laughs> uh, I'm in there, but I'm not in there. How is your Bible study different? Because the y'all yeah, got two. I got like good, yeah, I, I got you. two Lashana. Right. <laughs> Part of me want to tap in, but the other me is saying like, sis, you better find out what it is. Yes, folks. ma'am. So <laughs> I am me. God doesn't call you to be somebody different. He created me who I am. Yes, I have trauma and pain that has garnered on top of me that I have to now work through and pull off to find out who I really am Yes. Um, outside of that. Okay. Um, because, you know, we act out of abuse. We act out of trauma. Yes. You don't trust people. You, you are looking for comfort in wrong places, mm-hmm. whatever the case may mm-hmm. be. But who God has called me to be, I'm still me at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Lord, if you want me Can to be Can we clank, this, clank tonight? And also, why are you babysitting? I'm sorry. Whatever I is in this She's cup. She's killing me. <laughs> Here, let me. Let's pause on that. I love that. And this is it's so funny. Um, I work with a couple coaches, and one coach, her motto is, you can twerk and still love God, right? <laughs> uh, another coach I work with, you can make money and still love God. I think traditionally back in the day, yeah, God and church was so pretentious even though after after they leave they was just wilding out knuck if you buck and now you literally would you agree Stop. okay and not saying it's, it's still not happening because family it's still happening but Come on. once you are fully authentic and true to yourself and true to god he will he, he already accepted us however we were because he created us he yeah. already knows what we're going to do 
And so I love, I know you're calling it Bible study, but no, yeah, it's okay. me personally, <laughs> and you can be like, LaShawn, I'm keeping it with Bible study. <laughs> I feel like it needs to be called something else, even though you're getting Bible study, to infuse who you are, who you serve into it. Because my branding hat is coming on. I feel you. But I, I'm, I'm signing up and I'm going to come tap in. But <laughs> Just show up one I day. think you should call it something else. It's almost like blank, blank. A Bible study experience that helps you da 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 da. What that does is it helps to bring in the people who are anti the traditional because they don't know, but it will welcome others who are kind of on the fence. And then when they get in, they really can see what it is. Does that make sense? Yeah, no. I think I think who I am mm -hmm. um, brings people in outside of mm. that. Because um, I'm just how we're talking kikiing now. Yeah. That's how I am in Bible study. I mean, I don't change. Gotcha. Um, I'm, I promote um, transparency. Yeah. I have to be what I say everyone else can have when they come. Because mind you, it started with one person. Mm -hmm. So if I'm vulnerable and open, because I feel like what you're saying is because most people are like, I got saved and now I don't sin anymore. And that's just not true. Not true. Um, we are constantly battling with those things. But people in the church who we now are like, well, this is who God must be. He must hate me too because these people hate me and now I don't, you know. Right. People feel that way because people come in and think, oh, well, I I got it together now. So now I'm going to act like I got it all together. And I am And a they're sinner. dying inside. Okay, I know I don't have it together. I know how much I need God and yeah. I want to actually experience experience him mm -hmm. and so to do that I must be fully open and transparent yeah and so I only call it Bible study because the Bible is boring to a lot of people um and I show them how I open it and study how I hear from God how I, I how I apply it to my daily life how mm -hmm. I apply it to my relationships mm -hmm. the questions that we often have is this the man for me should I be doing this well sis actually mm -hmm. you're not even looking for a relationship you're looking for a savior you have a relationship Ooh. idol you're trying to find love and comfort in a man versus in what only God can give you. Right? Wow. That's how I break it down. You're not looking for a relationship. You're looking for a savior. And here's why. Please talk about that tonight. <laughs> Go in your stories. Again, something. that's my book. <laughs> that's what my book's about. Wait, wait, wait. What book, sister? Uh, get Ready for Love. <laughs> <laughs> it's on Amazon. You can purchase it on Kindle as well. Nice. But it, it goes into detail of my, that. this is how I learned is because I was there. A um, lot of empty relationships because all I really needed was a warm body. Mm -hmm. And I just needed to feel accepted. I have fear of abandonment. I have fear of vulnerability. This all comes from therapy, of course. Because yes. I, I urge my girls to go to therapy. Mm -hmm. So once we come together, we're like, I learned this in therapy this week, this in therapy this week. That's and good. we all come together, apply it to the word, and then we can apply, you know, It's both almost to like our, having our a therapy check. If most of your girls are in therapy, I think it would be cool to have a therapy check, and I'll tell you why. We do. The vicarious learning, and I'm not saying give all the details because confidentiality, your personal business, but overall, I learned about boundaries. I learned about how my unresolved yes. trauma is holding me back. And lastly, I learned about how I need to assess people, places, and things that are not serving me, Come right? On. It's coming from a therapist. So, <laughs> so I love all of this. Now, because this conversation is getting good, but you, you have a specific event coming up actually hosted here yes, at pop-up and create and if you don't know we're literally shooting live from pop-up and create <laughs> my multi-purpose content creation studio where you can podcast have events um co-work and the whole nine and awesome. i'm so excited that we get to support her promise movement and she's having an event so tell us what is that event when is it and how can it tap in so the event is october 21st from 3 p.m to 7 p.m um, you can tap in. We have the link will be in our bio uh, July 31st. Okay. So you will be able to buy tickets at your will um, after July 31st. We'll have speakers. If there's room left, y'all. Because you <laughs> have like 50% capacity. Yeah, they're going go But fast. But honestly, Mickey, that should tell you that maybe this needs to be quarterly. Maybe the next one needs to be at a whole big, big uh, conference in this yes, hall at a hotel. And, and you might want it to be small and intimate for a reason, but yeah. I think you might need to have this thing quarterly, yo. Yeah, I'm hearing you. Um, <laughs> I had to first say yes to doing this because, I gotcha. you know, I, like I said, you struggle with what God calls you to. You know it's from him because it's bigger than you. It's bigger than what you feel yeah, you can do. Good. Um, yeah. and, and it's about other people. My whole life, I was trying to achieve things for me mm -hmm. um, until he showed me, like, 
there's purpose in what you've been through is to help other people come out of it. Then it was like becomes about other people. Yes. Um, and that's a very humbling thing. Mm-hmm. And you must be humble to it do something like that. It crushes the ego. You okay. have to die to yourself. And, and you say that again? To. You have to die to yourself. Ooh, what do you mean by that? That's so di- dying to yourself, which most people in the world now are pursuing, I want fame. I want money. I want, even most people in their relationship with God only praying for their scope of things. Mm-hmm. Everybody's like in their own little That's good. world. That's real good. Um, but true purpose is always about other people. The word says love others as you love yourself. And you, that's what the event is about. So to fully love others as God intends us to, we have to see ourselves as he sees us. Mm. Y'all better sign up for the event. <laughs> so yes, we'll ma'am. put the event details below. Yes. Talk a little bit about your book, what it entails, and why we should go get it. So Get Ready for Love is birthed out of me getting ready for love. I realized... So are you single right now? I am. Okay, but you're available and getting ready for love. So I think we all need a time period in our lives where we are alone Mm -hmm. and know ourselves so our picker isn't off. Oh, that's good. Your picker is off. If you don't even know what your template is. Like I said, we don't have a template we choose by. He's fine, six four, got dreads, cool. You know, he don't beat me. I mean Wait, what's up? And it's not dreads, my daughter got locked. It's locked, baby. We it ain't no dreads, okay? Spirituality up in here, Claire. <laughs> So, is that your, like, I know my profile, I'm not going to tell my profile, because then I don't want to, I understand, I don't want to start a person like, oh, nah, I just, just okay, okay, so that was an example, (laughs) we're not, because honestly, we don't, we don't have visual, physical profiles, because it's all about energy, substance, alignment, right? Yes. Okay, cool. And it's funny, I am about to build a singles social group for entrepreneurs. Wow, I'm loving that. Yeah, and I would love for you either A, be a part, or B, at least be like a speaker because I'm not going to say you're a dating expert, but I love your positioning about um, Christian dating and getting ready while serving God. Would that be? Yeah, no, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Because you um, have to get ready. You got to get ready. And this is the thing. Your picker will be off if you don't know who you are. You will just be on Bumble, P- POF. Dang, how do I know he all cute, this? He cute. He not. He cute. He right. Not. He right. Cute, he but not. one thing about me, I got a low tolerance. I, so I ask you certain questions. If you don't answer them right, on to the next. On, on to the next. But has I, have I always been like that? No. Right? Okay. So we digress. This is not a dating podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So, let me ask you this before you wrap up. Sure. How has your healing journey or how has entrepreneurship impacting your healing journey? So, it's twofold. Okay. How has your healing journey impacted how you build your business? And maybe it's both. Or yeah. have how has you build building <laughs> We're not we not editing that out either, okay? <laughs> Cause my, my podcast is be so so good. We don't we don't edit. We don't keep this. Or how have you been building your business? Activated your healing journey. Do you understand what I'm asking you? Yes. So okay, you want to cool. know how my healing journey and vice versa has impacted each other? If that's how you want to answer, yup. Okay. So, um, like I said before, once you find that your purpose is outside of you, mm-hmm. it it influences how you lead. That's, that's good. That's um, true. You learn what... Some people want titles. Most people want titles. Mm-hmm. It sounds good to be an entrepreneur. It sounds good to be a business owner. It sounds good to be a uh, black-owned or CEO. CEO. Come on. It sounds good to lead. However, once you're in that position, you are now responsible hmm. for lives. Especially if I am, am trying to help people heal, it can't be about me. Right. It can't be about me because... This is how people get manipulated. This is how people end up getting... Girl, speak on it. I mean, it's true. This is how people get manipulated and get their accounts drained, giving money to someone who's just in it for what they can get. So they can say a bunch of stuff that sounds good, but you can tell with discernment yeah. who, who's who's for you and who's not. Yeah. I'm about my father's business. So what God is about is coming in and transforming lives. That's what he does. Mm-hmm. He doesn't come in and you stay the same. He comes in and he changes you for the better. Mm-hmm. And so once you align with what God desires, 
then, like I said, your picker gets better. Mm-hmm. So that's why you have to prepare and get your relationship with him right. Because then all your other relationships with everything, not just people, business. Everything, generalized. Everything. Yeah. Because then you're like, that doesn't align. No, that's a no. You know, everybody's yeah. always making decisions. This is how you make decisions. You have a template now. Mm-hmm. You're not just choosing boo-boo down the street. Right. You're choosing a man that also understands that spiritual health is important. Mental mm-hmm. health is important. Emotional health is important. Healing yeah. is important. Not choosing him because he's fine. But because he can help you grow. Yeah, and the and the icing on the cake is that he's what they call an eye candy, nice on the eye. Yeah, that's bonus. I love that. That's a bonus point. You feel me? Yeah. So I think that healing has allowed me to pour myself into her promise circle genuinely. And mm-hmm. because of that, I draw people in who want someone they can relate to. Yes. Um sure, church girl gone wild, if that's what you want to call it. <laughs> or just someone who's just no realizes who they are yeah. and still knows that God loves and accepts them and uses them. Mm-hmm. And is still striving to get better. I am not condoning these things. I'm saying still striving every day to become a better version. Um, because some people take advantage of that. Oh, most you know, they're like, yeah, God loves to forget the love, love. It's like, yeah, I'm actually trying to get closer to him. Yeah. That's like being in a relationship with someone, apologizing, and they apologize, apologize, apologize. And you never change. You just hurt me. That's insanity. Hurt me. Hurt me. me, That that, never changed. That becomes toxic and it impacts us deeper than we even know because even when you're not in that relationship anymore, now your picker is very, um, I would say, even on high alert to where you're just super, super, super careful. So when it's like you don't let no one in. I'm not gonna say you're gonna miss your blessing. Yeah. yeah. Your wall becomes up. Yeah. Mm. Right? Walls, child. Child. Walls, layers. <laughs> um, just because he played on you, now he missed your phone call and now you're checking phones. How do I know all this, y'all? How do I know all this? <laughs> And that's all I'm telling you. I'm like, I am you. You are me. I always say that because it's like, yo, I'm not telling you stuff to judge you. I'm telling you stuff because I've been through it and suffered the consequences. And I'm trying to help you further along than mm-hmm. I was at the mm-hmm. time. What took me six, seven years to learn could take you a day to get the wisdom for. And now mm-hmm. you may not do it right away, but you at least have the wisdom. Light is knowledge, right? So you now are in the light. You're not walking in the dark. So Most now you're aware definitely. of it. Let me tell you what came to me. I bust your windows at your car. <laughs> I'm listening to everyone like, sis, I was one of them. Yeah, I was, look, look, look. Come on. I ain't always been Miss West Creative Coach, LaShawn West, the business therapist. Come on. But that's for a whole nother episode. Nah, nah. Okay. <laughs> no. But you live, you learn, and you change, and you can inspire people. <laughs> it's like, definitely. yo, I'm here right now, but I could be there. And so, Or I understand. was there. Shoot. Okay. Still battling thoughts, okay? Exactly. <laughs> and, and don't slip up. Anyways. <laughs> So let the people know where can they find you, um, what is on the horizon for you. I know you have the event coming up. I know you have a book. But if they're like, okay, I love this woman. I want to join the prom- Her Promise Circle. Yes. How would they do that? So we have Instagram, Her Promise Circle, or my Instagram, Mikkel.Renee. Or we have our website, www.herpromisecircle.com. Mm-hmm. We have Her Promise Circle TikTok. I nice. also have a TikTok. Um, they're all the same on all the platforms. So pretty much you just search her promise circle, you're going to find us. I love that name. Well, I want to thank you so much for tapping in today. Thank you for having me. This was super duper fun. This was good, yes. Honestly, y'all, I didn't even really have to talk. I didn't even really have to talk much because... (laughs) No, but I I love that. No, 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 no. That's that's not what I'm saying. (laughs) What I'm saying is you are giving and serving so much to where you make the conversation fluid and easy to where I don't have to direct anything, we can just flow. Yeah. So that was actually Thank sorry, you. Yonder, no, it's ma- okay. malfunction. It's okay. Trying to give it all. Yeah, in. give it all. Come so, on. So so that was a compliment no, of how so. your light shines so bright and more people need to know. Thank you. You're welcome. That's so sweet. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This this was one of my favorite episodes. I I'm, know it. And I'm not okay. <laughs> That's what y'all <laughs> I'm, I'll get this one. Yo, <laughs> I'm not just saying it because she's sitting here. I don't say this much, but this literally. I ain't no, lie. no, since we. <laughs> she keep it real. Ain't no lying over here. <laughs> she keep it real, I y'all. just made that up. But anyway, the reason why it was my favorite is because number one, organic, authenticity, relatability, and ultimately, 
breakthrough on so many levels. Yes. And we got to talk about God and how awesome he is and how we don't even need to go and try to fetch him. He's already here. Waiting for you most right? of the time. You waiting on you. On that note, okay? In that order, in that order. Do you know what you know? No, but I'm a dance. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you know what song that's from, drop it in the comments. Yeah, let and us I'm, know. You're going to get a $25 Amazon gift card, okay? Hey. And that's on me. She's lit. That's on me. I was like, <laughs> all right. We'll see you guys later. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Like, subscribe, me. and follow. Bye, y'all. Bye.